Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more of the most iconic British moments. Make sure you guys comment below with more British moments that you guys feel are iconic that you want me to check out. Also, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. If not, you don't have to. It's all good in the hood. Let's just go ahead and jump into this, folks. We'll talk about it more in the end. I'm going to say one thing. I'm going to show you my balls. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 I slice my finger open really bad. Help. Ouch. That's literally the first thing I do. There's always one. I have chopped the end of my finger off. Might have to sit outside for a bit. A bit like. Oof. I'm passing out. He lost so much blood? Or is he one of those oh people that God. sees blood and gets like faint? I like... pass out. Yeah. That's a good start. <laughs> Kev's making two layers for his cheesecake. One with white chocolate, the other with milk chocolate. Very fancy. Let's see what that tastes like. Oh, good. <laughs> Why? Nice. Must be Alice. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Alice. You too. Yeah. Well, Alice, do you want to go over to the park bench? Yeah. Thank you. Well, Alice, it seems we both got autism, haven't we? Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Happy. <laughs> that's sweet. Goddamn Easter! Coffee. She's gonna hit the dog. I think. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 Frank. Frank, come in. He here. just got Easter eggs. He come just in, got eggs. Oh. Uh, can you tell us about your flapjack, please? Started making it, had a breakdown. Bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, off you go. Bim bom, 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 bim bom. Oh. Very good. See, scandals happen all the time. The question is, how do democracies respond to those scandals? Uh, and what will it mean for uh, for the wider region? I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean, shift it, <laughs> shifting. Shifting sands in the region, do you think relations with the North may change? Um, I would be surprised if they do. <laughs> the, um, pardon me. Oh, shit. That's pardon pardon me. My apologies. <laughs> what risk is going to be for the region? My apologies. North, uh, sorry. <laughs> Um, North Korea, North, uh, South Korea's policy choices on North Korea have been severely limited. Hello, this is Breakfast with Naga Manchetti and Charlie State. It's 6.30, it's Friday the 14th of October. Let's tell you what's coming up on the programme. We're going to be joined by Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon. We'll talk to her about plans for a second referendum on independence. I'm sorry, we've uh, very clearly run the wrong pictures of that <laughs> particular sequence. My apologies there. Put your muffins John, in your the toaster. Tea on fire. John, your cooker's on fire. Tea turn around, on fire. Turn around. John, behind you, cooker. Behind you, John, you're on fire. Fire, oh, John. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. No. okay. I thought they just going to take his balls on TV for real. Can I just say, I apologise if you felt like that. That's yeah, never, no, no other guest has ever. Exactly, that would be a exactly. technical reason. So, wait a minute, why do you want to... I have to watch this, so why do you want to dish Father's Day? Like, why, well, I mean, why is there a conversation around it? Reason to do, can, I'm just going to explain that. It's that how we rubbish. conduct our I have to watch this. It's not. I have it's been no. coming here for the last 20 years, and I've never been treated like that. To be well, sent away. I would, that's, that's I would talk to you afterwards about fathers. what your specific that's phrase typical. was today. But we Shirley, always but separate guests who are going yeah. to be part no, of I the debate. I have been coming you here would have 20 come on a years, Kate, issue. and I've never I, been well, treated. And that is just it is typical. It's a shame. I think you've slightly let dads like, down. No, no. I well, think you've slightly let dads down by that stuff. I'm going to say that. But thank you very much. We'll talk privately about how you feel. We're going to take a break because of that. You're watching Good Morning Britain on ITV. I have to watch that now because I'm wondering what, what's their reasoning behind it. Like, why do they think it needs to be ditched? Is that the end of the video? Oh no, I still got some more going. It's a guy dancing. Oh shit, I thought he was going to hit his head. 
That's, I didn't know that bit was coming. <laughs> did, did we warn the health people about that? They're, they're outside Good now. Good effort. Good effort. That's fantastic. <laughs> Good, well, thank you very well much. Thank you. I'll give you some <laughs> tips later. You, the big box, little box thing, that would really work. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> big box, love box. Um, yeah, man. I enjoyed that. I think I, I say I enjoyed the last one more, maybe because there's more like controversy going on. Where, like the girls get mad and slap at each other and stuff, and um, the kid saying about like my mom says that you don't like foreigners and stuff. I like the last one a bit more, even though this one was requested more. Um, I wonder if the lady ever lived that down and the dog, even though it was a mistake. You know, anytime you do anything, even if it's a mistake to like an animal or something, you'll never live it down. So I wonder if she was able to live that down. And I'm really curious about this, about the whole like. Them saying that you don't need Father's Day anymore. I'm wondering why that. Why was this conversation even brought up? Time to dish Father's Day. Some claim Father's uh, Father's Day is no longer relevant in today's society. Why not? Is it because it, they feel like it's like not enough dads, too many single moms? I need to watch it to see because I wonder why that conversation would come up um, about why there's no need for like a you know Father's Day. That was a cute couple, autistic couple. That was that was cute. Um, but yeah, man, this is good. Yeah, man, that's it. I enjoyed this, man. Make sure you guys recommend recommend more stuff below that you guys think are iconic moments or anything else. It really doesn't matter. I just appreciate the recommendations. Um, try to do titles because a, a, a lot of stuff goes into like the spam folder. When you do a link, they also automatically assume some of it's spam. And I try to go to the spam folder as much as possible, but so much of it goes in there because YouTube automatically like you know removes a lot of stuff because the spamming problem is crazy. I don't know if you guys ever go in the comment section now and it's like a lady saying like um call me i'm horny and stuff like that those things are all over the place so whenever there's like a, a link youtube blocks it sometimes even timestamps now they're trying to block those because a lot of the, those bots will use that as well like a timestamp on the video that actually doesn't lead to anything because they want you to click on their profile and think they're a real person so a lot more you ask uh, like i said i go into the spam folder as much as possible um but i don't know a lot of it gets buried all right so yeah man that is it I don't have anything else. I enjoyed this. I thought it was entertaining. I definitely want to watch more about this whole time of Dish Father's Day. I'm very curious as to why. And I would definitely like to check out some more moments. And I wonder why they got past a pass out. Did he really lose that much blood? Or is he one of those people I forgot what the word for it is? Like when like you see blood and you get like faint and pass out. I forgot what the what it's called. Um Yeah. I forgot what it's called. But yeah, man, that is it. That is all. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.